Hi, in this Affinity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make your own picture frames in Affinity, similar to all these frames that Canva has available. So you can see we've got all sorts of different things that you can fill with the picture here. And so let's start out by making a blob. So I'm in Publisher, but you can do this in Designer as well. And I'm going to start out in the Shapes tool over here on the left and choose the ellipse tool. And we'll just draw out a circle. Now we need to make this into a blob. So up here in the contextual toolbar, I'm going to convert to curves. Now I have some nodes and it automatically put me on the node tool when I clicked that convert to curves. And now I can just kind of stretch these out a little bit. And if I Click in here, I can just add another point just by clicking on the line and we can create our blob. So drag the nodes around to create your blob shape. And then use these little handles to just kind of adjust them. So pulling them out will also pull your line out. Pushing them in will turn your node into more of a corner. So we'll just do something like that and maybe we'll pull this out a little bit okay there's my blob there it is all right um so the next thing i'm going to do is i will uh, let's just quickly take the stroke off here um, i'm going to go up to the layer menu here and then convert to picture frame so now it is a picture frame it doesn't look like anything's happened but my contextual toolbar changed up here. So now I'll just click on this button that says replace image. And now I can find an image on my computer and fill it. And I can position it around. I can use this control to scale it up and down and rotate it, all sorts of things. And if I ever want to change the picture in this frame, I just go to replace image here. Now this button has some properties. Um, I'm gonna leave these alone. Um, I really don't find that there's any reason to choose any of these uh, for, for my purposes at least because I can use these controls to just change the image within the frame. Basically what this will do is it'll, it'll tells you the picture will be scaled to fill the frame or the picture will be scaled so that its aspect ratio remains the same or it will be, the picture will be stretched to fill the frame. And that may distort it because the aspect ratio will not be maintained. So those are some things you can change. But like I said, I just manipulate it with these two controls here. The other thing that is interesting over here is this one over here where you hover and it says size picture frame to content. So if I click that, you'll see it made my blob bigger in order to match the maximum size. So it's kind of almost the opposite of, uh, you know, scaling the picture to fit the frame. Instead, it's scaling the frame to fit the size of the picture. So there is our blob, and I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit and move it off to the side. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a flower picture frame. So back in Publisher, to do this, let's start out with the star tool. So we'll draw out our star and then with the shape tool turned on, you'll see that there's this little gear symbol or setting symbol. And when you hover, it says presets. So there's some different modifications to the star shape that are built in. So we could make it like this, like that. That's actually not bad, but I like this one. And so now that we've done that, we can go to layer, convert to picture frame, and we can do the same thing that we did before. Find a picture and fill it with a picture. And then we can scale it and position it around to however we want it to be. So that we can move this whole thing out of the way and we'll just scale it down a little. Okay, uh, the third thing that I wanna show you is we have letters and numbers here. So let's do a letter. 
So for this, I'll go to the artistic text tool and we'll draw out a place and let's make a letter B. And you should have a nice bold font for this. So I have impact selected, which is a nice bold one. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is we will go ahead and go to layer, convert this to curves because you'll see convert to picture frame is grayed out. So we can't go straight to that and then layer. And now we have this available again, convert to picture frame. And now we can fill it with an image. So let's do something a little different this time. So now we filled it with a photo. And we'll move that out of the way. The final thing I want to show you is we do have these frames here. Now we are not going to replicate this exactly, but we'll, we'll do something along those lines. Now for this one, you do need designer because we do need brushes. But let's go ahead and get started with the rectangle tool. We will draw out our rectangular frame and then we are going to um, put a stroke on it. So let's just give it a contrasting color and also give it a little bit of width to it so we can actually see it. And then we will go layer, convert to picture frame. We will put our image in here. And then let's go over here to designer persona. So now we have our brushes and we've got the stroke selected. So we can just pick a brush. Let's see what we like. Let's do this one. And then I can go over to swatches and let's go over to the metallics coated and we'll just pick a golden one. And then we'll make sure that that's applied to the stroke. Okay. Let's make this a little bigger so we can see it. So now we have kind of a brushed outline on our frame and we can go ahead and replace this image if we wanted to. So let's find a different one. Let's go back to, let's try that one. Okay, so now we've got a different picture in there. So I hope that you find this useful. And um, one thing that you can do is let's do one more thing. Uh, let's open up the assets. And I'm not going to go too deep into assets because uh, I believe I have another video on that. But let's create a new category. Call it picture frames. Say okay. And then here we're going to add from selection and we'll click this one, add from selection, click this one, add from selection, click this and add from selection. Now we have our own assortment of picture frames that we can use just like you would with Canva. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.